Hey everyone, Kadian Sergeant Steel, and just want to show you real quick how I do my mud basing on my Kadian models. First thing we're going to do is grab some sterling mud from Games Workshop and also our tool and begin applying it to our model. So what you do is you just get a little bit of this on the tool here and then you come over and you begin moving it around on your model like so. Make sure to get good coverage but also not to cover up any of the raised areas like your boots or the other parts of your model. So make sure not to cover areas of your model such as the boots or other parts like the rocks or the skull that I have on here and just move it around until you get the whole base area covered. One thing to do when applying the sterling mud to your model is make sure it is uneven in some places to create kind of higher and low spots in areas with greater texture difference. Next thing we're going to do is take Steel Legion Drab and apply it to the base now that our basing is dry. So grab your model, get a little Steel Legion Drab on your brush, and what we want to do here is just take it across the top and kind of almost use your brush sideways there. So see I'm just getting the raised areas mostly, but not entirely. I do want to reach down every once in a while with the brush and apply some of it down into the recesses, but not too much, just enough to create some varying depth. And that's gonna help with the next color that we add to this as well to help brighten it up. Next, we'll wanna take some Steel Legion Drab and apply it to the rim of the base to help tie everything together and make it look real nice when we're gonna put it down on the gaming table. Next, we're going to take your shafty bone and then lightly cover the top of this with that in order to create some finer highlights on the soil. So, grab your model, put a little bit of your shafty bone onto your brush. Not very much, you don't want it to be too thick. And what we want to do here is come in and just lightly, very lightly graze the top just to get the most raised portions of the mud to make it look like it has dried as it has been exposed to more air or heat perhaps. So here we go. You can also, if you've got a skull on your base, go ahead and hit your skull with the shafty bone also. There we go. Just kind of brighten it up a little bit. So there you have it. The base thing is now finished. A little bit of sterling mud, a little bit of steel legion drab, a little bit of your shafty bone. Make sure you do not cover up the steel legion drab you've put down in some of the recesses or deeper parts, and you just put the shafty bow down on the highest highlights there. There you go. That's how I make my mud bases. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please check out my other ones. I have plenty of others of how to paint Cadian models and to do other various stuff in the Warhammer hobby. But as always, have fun wargaming and Cadia stands. Mm -hmm.